bands is an eating disorder, characterised with an obsession with healthy eating and over-exercise. Given that those are two things we're encouraged to do, it can make it kind of hard to spot. Anorthorexia isn't a light or harmless condition either. Untreated, it can lead to malnutrition and further health complications, but it also results in impacted mental health, obsessive behaviours and deterioration in quality of life. And once you're suffering from an eating disorder, recovery is a long and arduous process that often involves several relapses. Research carried out by UCL scientists in 2017 found that higher Instagram usage was associated with an increased likelihood of developing orthorexia, and no other social media platform has such a positive association. The study specifically cited the healthy eating community on Instagram, who showed a high prevalence of orthorexia symptoms, which, researchers warned, could have an effect on their followers, who may duplicate the behaviour, believing it to be healthy advice. Canadian-based influencer Jenna Brett has first-hand experience of this. Under the handle at Jen Bretty, she commands a platform of 450,000 people and blogs about her recovery from an eating disorder. But joining the IG fitness community, she noticed that many of the influencers she followed were displaying the exact symptoms and behaviours she was trying to overcome. I'm sick of fitness people normalising behaviours that people who suffer from eating disorders are fighting so hard to break, she wrote in a tweet. Fitness shouldn't mean having to work out every day or weighing your damn lettuce. And Instagram is ripe for encouraging conditions like orthorexia and anorexia for several reasons. It's a visual platform. Everything is about aesthetic. And it's extremely easy to compare and contrast images of bodies for progress in physique. As Jen Bretty highlights, no one can see what's going on behind the scenes. Only pictures of bodies that appear to be in peak physical condition. Followers rely on self reported of influencers to explain how they achieve them, and they're hardly going to cop that their apparently healthy habits might actually be the opposite. While public discussion is quick to pinpoint obesity as a health problem, orthorexia and fitness addictions don't get the same airtime because often sufferers look conventionally healthy and fit into ideals of what we want bodies to look like. But perhaps we need to question this, and the pressures we place on people to look a certain way. Pressures that Instagram actively encourages. Fitness addiction may sound like a harmless, even healthy condition, but is it?